I've been banned from coming to see you. Why is that? And who was that? Was that my uncle? Because he was freaking white. I'm black. He can't be my- Wait, am I adopted? Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to day three on the escapist. My name is Asparo Jenny, and I'm playing with Morgan Freeman. Back on Alcatraz. On this day, I want to try and, you know, try to perceive a way, a start, a weakness in this prison where we can start poking to get out of here. So let's do that. Let's explore the prison. I have distraction jobs for the evening meal. Let's not forget that. I need to locate a watch that seems simple enough to complete as well. I'm gonna try to, you know, tell this guy who is this. Not the flathead moss. Not the flathead moss. I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna go to the bathroom. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. And I'm gonna go to the Dremors bathroom. The Dremors toilet. To make a little peewee. Because I'm really in need of it. I spent the whole night watching my toilet and I was not able to pee. I now have two cups of molten chocolate. So I should start using those. For the favors, why not? I should... Some people told me that you can use the cups of molten chocolate to beat down people. It will count as the favor is done. So I have a lot of raw materials. But what I'm missing here is a point. I'm missing what I need to do. I'm gonna try to increase my intellect to 80. So that I can make that spiked bat happen. Again, I want to be a caveman, a hooga booga man. And I want to be the, as much manly as I can by crafting that spiked bat. Maybe then I can beat some woman and bring her to my cell to do some romance. No, that's not possible because there's no women in this prison. Spiked bat! There we go. Now, let's be careful with the distraction jobs because... Now I have something to lose, which is a spike bet. I don't have much strength, so I would say it would be a good idea to increase my strength to a point where I get at least, at the very least, 20 HP. You know, in most of my series, I never focus physical stats or beating people down. Maybe to throw something different out there, maybe I'll do it for this one. I will not increase my speed. I will increase my strength and try to keep it at 20. 20-ish, and I should get the armor as well, and I think I have Yes, I have the materials for armor for the plated armor I have a sheet of metal and I have roll of duct tape because I still don't have any purpose I still don't have an objective. I might as well in increase my chances of surviving around here by doing that So to make let's see to make an armor. I probably need a lot more intellect Do I No, I can already make it Awesome! So I just turned myself into this killing machine with a spiked bat. That just looks gruesome. I'm gonna risk a bit by getting out of here with these items equipped because I believe I can be brought down by just three or four hits still, even though I have the outfit, the new plated armor outfit. There is a very good way to hide your illegal items over here. It seems to be a very easy, very effective way to hide your illegal items over here, but there is a door over here, which I hate They could easily see you through the door over here So I gotta be careful with that if I decide to make a hole in the wall a punch in the wall because I'm getting that strong and Put my illegal items over there. You want a watch as well. A lot of people are lost in time over here That was a uh, Morgan Freeman Kind of joke. Let's see, what are you selling? Nothing that I can really use. Again, I need to get myself a purpose so that I start picking the right items and I don't skip them. Because if I skip something that I'm gonna need in the future, I'm gonna cry so much. I need watches. So let's try to pick them up while these guys are wussing in the roll call. Because I am not a wussy, so I can just leave that area. I'm just a risky guy. I'm not a wussy, but I'm a risky guy because this is very risky. Let's wait for them to go away and search for that watch. I oh my god. Let's not get any more guard heat. Do they? Oh my god. Seriously? Do you guys Oh my god. Are you serious? Are you Okay, wall hack. Wall hack over there. God dang it. Okay. All right. All right. Got it. Let's leave this stuff 
on my desk. Actually, this is a bad idea. Because if they punch me right now, I'm gonna take so much damage! Uh, nine health. Alright, beat me. I offer my body to your cause. <laughs> and you can beat me down so that I can, for my cause, bring the guard heat down. That was lucky. That was lucky. And these are the kind of things that I need to be careful with right now. I need watches. That's what I'm looking for over here. Let's try to get it. I can't believe how unlucky I was. I mean, I've said it before. There's not too many guards, but they are always on the unwanted place. 75 guard heat. How much did I have? Something like zero. It increased by 75. Jesus, God. All right. All right. It seems that I have a magnet. I have a guard's magnet. Okay, I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be beaten down again. Oh! At least I can have a favor from this. Alright, 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 alright. No! No, 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 no. Eight health. Eight health. And I have my illegal stuff over here. No, 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 no. At least I'm a very good dodger. I'm a very good dodger. That sounds wrong. Because there is a very famous YouTuber called Dodger. But... Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Let's try to save this stuff. And put it on my desk! Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Five health. Alright, folks, I have a new idea. Let's keep those items in my desk for the time being. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's timing. Maybe it's... I have no idea what it is. But I am being beaten down too many times in a very short amount of time. So let's keep those items in my desk for the time being. Evening meal time. Let's do this. I need to beat down. Let's see. I'm always beating the same guy, so let's beat Frozen this time! Oh my god, come on, that- Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god Come on, are you serious? I had a distraction job For the evening meal time I- I- I, I just love when they decide to not give me the money for it And I lost it! I lost it! I lost money because I didn't complete the job I lost money because I was brought down after trying to complete the job that was a very useless moment. Alright, exercise period. Let's use this moment to increase my strength. I want to try and keep it at 20 once again. But a chump. Been seen with my missing candle. Alright. I have no idea what you want a candle for. That sounds like a wussy kind of item to have, but... Mm-hmm. Clock him about the place a bit and I'll pay you. Kick Melby's butt. Alright, let's try that. That is gonna be the true test for my spiked bat and my armor outfit. Let's see if I can beat someone with these kind of stats. It sounds like it's a little bit short, but we can try it anyway. We gotta check Mel B's stats. Because there's so many people, man. There's so many prisoners in this prison layout that it's hard to freaking spot them. So let's see, where's Mel B? Mel B, I have no idea how you look. My god, I never saw you And I wish I never see you again after beating you down because you will certainly want my butt after that. Oh, there he is Um, Yeah, we can go out there. Is there any snipers out here? I wonder Melby Let's go. Let's go. Let's do this Nope, nope, that is not a good idea. I am still not able to bring one guy down that easily. Maybe Melby has a huge punch. A huge hand. With which he can punch a lot and well. So let's leave my stuff over here because my strength is not that good. And let's do what I wanted to do in this episode. Which is trying to get an objective. Now I could... I could destroy this wall and get my illegal items on this lane. I don't have any rolls of duct tape though, for a poster to put in the place of the wall. I don't feel safe to come in here though, because of this door. The guards can easily see you, but I could keep my items to the north part of this hole. That could be a thing. So if I find a roll of duct tape, I already have an objective. Other than that, let's check if there's any place I can envision to get out of here. Let's see. This seems like to be like a weak spot over here in the top left this seems like a weak spot now there are snipers over there 
Hmm. It could be a way out over here, but I have no idea where is the generator. And let's get inside the prison before the entrance door is locked. This is still surrounded by a black void. Didn't get much progress today. I didn't even really spotted a weakness yet in the prison. So let's try to do that next day. But for this one, I gotta guarantee my stuff stays with me. So let's pick this up and let's equip it. This is one of the quickest ways to guarantee we keep that. Let's now try to keep all the illegal stuff. I have a lot of foils. And I could, I could make a contraband pouch because there are specific strategically located metal detectors. So it, we, it will be a very good idea to make one. And I guess I'm going to need to bring to the toilet some of these illegal items like the foils. There we go. I hope I don't lose them though. I think I'm going to need them in the future. There we go. We are out of illegal items. That is good. Let's get back. And try to keep a low profile. No illegal stuff. You didn't check my dirty toilet. You're dumb. You should. That's one of the guard's jobs. If I was a guard, I would look through everything. Not only the toilet, but the sewers. Even your bottom. No, let's not say that. And let's save the game. And get out of here from this day. Day four. Here we go. Over here, the whole prison is surrounded by a black void. So there isn't much sense over here. I could check this place down here, but again, it seems to be all surrounded. How do I how do I call my mother? How do I call my aunt? What's that? Wait a second. Did I just spawn my hunt? Hunt! Please come here! No! I want to talk with What is this guy? Morgan Freeman! Not sure how you're gonna take this. I've been banned from coming to see you. Why is that? And who was that? Was that my uncle? Because he was freaking white. I'm black. It can't be my... Wait, am I adopted? Come on. That can't be it. I need to get to the breakfast area before I'm being kicked down. There we go. Here we go. I'm safe over here. I can't believe I'm still unemployed. I guess one of the challenges... In this episode, alright, not in this episode, but in the full playthrough, will be not getting a job. Let's try to do that with that challenge. Now that I have, you know, four days played without even touching a job, I think it's a good idea to throw this challenge out there. I want to see my uncle again. Uncle, am I adopted or not? I need to know that. It's kind of funny how they always show up when I sit over here. Who is this? Who is this guy? I've emptied out our account. How do you access my account? Because I've been talking to a lot of hunky men. Get out of here. You guys got it wrong. That cannot be part of my family. I'm black. Is white. That is... That doesn't make any sense. There is a prison stash over there. No, it's a medical supplies. I was wrong. Let's keep searching for weaknesses. There is none over here in the exercise room. There is none over here. Let's see. I haven't seen any leather so far. So let's check here at the top left if the generator is over there or not. Let's see. I could get in here if the generator is over here. Is it? No, it's not. I mean, if the fence is electrified, there must be a generator out there. Normally, that's how it rolls. Let's keep checking for those ventilating systems because if they're not in the cells, they could be over here. No, I don't see them anywhere. Hmm. Interesting. This this prison doesn't seem hard, but it seems to be clever in a way that you need to know exactly what you're doing to get out of here. This is still surrounded by a black void. They go outside. How do you go outside? I need to check how Ray there and whatnot goes outside. Oh, there seems to be a way down here. All right. All right. Red key. That seems to be a must. Red key. So we need to get the red key out of one of the guards. So I guess I could start today doing that research because I have two cups of molten chocolate, which are, you know, occupying some of my inventory. And I could throw them away by doing that. I don't have any distraction jobs, do I? No. I got to a point in favors where I need to do something 
rather than distraction jobs. Let's start making our escape plan happen right about today. So I'm gonna get rid of these two items. Do I have any outfit? Yes, I do. Awesome. So that I don't hang around with my ding ding dong out there and risk someone tasing it. There's no tasers. Tasers in this prison, are they? No, they're beating me down. So, one cup of molten chocolate, but dude, I should have a water putty before doing this. And for that, I need a tube of talcum powder and... Tube of toothpaste. That's it, I didn't forget. Playing the escape is like riding a bicycle. Once you learn, you never forget. Okay, so I am probably gonna need more than this. I'm probably gonna need more than one water putty. But let's start beating these guys down and check who is the one. I have a feeling that it is Dr. Flethermoss. For some reason, something says that Dr. Flethermoss is the one having the key. He's one of the guards. Oh, and Paul Swart Jr. Look at him. He is one of the ones that announces the roll call, so he might be the one that has the key. He went over here through the metal detector. Obviously, I can't do that. So let's just wait for him to come down again. No, oh, that's Frozen. Frozen is also one of the ones that does the roll call, isn't it? There he is. Okay, let's chase him Like a pro spy and let's do this. Now is the time. Oh My god utility key Now question is am I going to use this one? Ah, I want to keep my water puri Precisely to the key that I need so let's not use it on this one I'm just gonna mentally note, and I, it's gonna be recorded, so I'm fine with that, that Dr. Flathermoss is the one having the utility key. For the most part, I can also use the baton and the god outfit, which is awesome. Let's leave the key out there. Let's pick up another cup of molten chocolate, which we were actually very lucky to have. So, where is Jack Knight? I want to give you this baton. And I want to keep the god outfit over here. There we go. This guy's gonna probably try to beat my butt. Dr. Flathermoss, forget about that. Come on. We've been good buddies since the start. Don't do that to me. It's such a pain in the butt looking for that specific prisoner when there's so many of them. So I'm just gonna give this to Lilu. Enjoy your baton. And I'm gonna try to beat someone else before the evening meal time. I should probably do the checkpoint though. Uh, let's play it safe. Let's play it safe and let's go there. Apparently, Dr. Feathermoss is still naked. <laughs> He's enjoying his job while naked. He's giving some fresh air to some of his parts, if you know what I mean. Alright. I don't need to eat. I'm not fatigued. So, the checkpoint is done. Dr. Feathermoss is missing. <laughs> uh, no, that's not him. That's Ray there. And that's Paul Swartz Jr. Paul Swartz Jr. Come on, don't do this to me. Alright, let's pick up the water putty. And the cup of molten chocolate. Okay, awesome. There's just so many prisoners in this prison. It's just amazing. It's amazing. This place became a world of rolls of duct tape. Thank you so much. Not gonna skip on that. $60 just like that. Bam, and I'm broken. But it is worth it. Everything's worth it for rolls of duct tape. Okay, going to the shower block Means I'm gonna go through a metal detector. So let's just leave this stuff over here. Let's carry one of the magazines We don't need three of them do we so let's get rid of this one if I have a cell toss I might be screwed because I Just have so many illegal stuff that I want to keep. Oh look at that. They don't even care if someone starts a fight over here they won't come. I like this idea of them being on the other side of the fence. This is like the cage. In the cage, but no soccer. No football ball balls. If you know what I mean. There's other kind of balls over there when you're taking a shower. But what I mean is in the cage with a shower. Fighting. Punch cage. Whatever you want to call it. Alright, so Frozen or Riley. Let's try Riley. Riley. Dang! Get that sugar rush. Riley, that is not the key that I wanted. And now I'm out of cups of molten chocolate. So I'm gonna keep looking. I'm gonna keep looking now for... I think I need just chocolate for at least one more 
cup of molten chocolate. So let's do that. There are a ton, a freaking ton of desks to search. And I haven't been doing that too many times. So let's keep doing that without having our butt down. So let's put here the water potty playing safe. Let's put here the timber. My god, I'm so screwed if I have a cell toss. I'm even considering making the contraband pouch, the durable contraband pouch, so that I save some more slots. Chocolate! Come on, bring me that chocolate, not donuts. I feel like having some different kind of sugar rush. There we go. No, 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 no. Oh my god. No! They, they, they increase your guard heat a lot when you're in the wrong place. That is one of the things about this prison. And they're always, always patrolling the place where you are at. You have some sword. Come on, another foil? Okay, let's see if someone enjoys it. Butter chump, enjoy your foil. And let's leave the tube of down here. Okay, let's search Sammy Boy Martin's desk. Come on, come on, chocolate. Honestly, this is... I, I know it sounds bad of me or smart, clever from me. But this is the prison. You want to make that challenge in which you don't buy anything because there's just so many cells here that I don't think I will need to buy too much stuff. Wait a second though! I already bought rolls of duct tape. No, but the challenge was not accepting any job. Okay, 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 okay. I got those mixed up. That was my mistake. So I got it right. Okay, another lighter. I'm gonna need that for the cups of molten chocolate. Let's wait for them to go away. Come on! I wanted to beat at least one more guard. It would be amazing to beat three guards a day to find who has the red key. It's gonna be a struggle again. It's gonna be a struggle. I wish there was a way, you know, to talk with other prisoners, pay for their information in order to, you know, Hey, you, you, do you know who has the red key or the yellow key? And they would tell you for a couple of bucks. That would be amazing. Imagine what it is if those pages had some kind of information telling you what to do. Not exactly what to do, but useful information on, for instance, guards and who has the key that you need. That will be very cool. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this was not a very useful episode. I need chocolate to make the cup of molten chocolate to keep beat down those guards to have the right key. I found a weakness to the top left. There is a fence there that I can cut down, but I'm missing where is the generator? So, my next bet would be the bottom right. I think that is the place in which guards go outside. And it might be our escape. So, until further development, I'm gonna leave you here. I'm gonna save the game. And have a nice night-night. Please, like, comment and subscribe on this video, guys. That helps a lot. And I'll see you on the next one. My name is the Sparrow Jenny. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching everyone, if you are looking for more, feel free to check these suggestions. As a reminder, if you're looking into buying games, consider using my G2A ref link in the description of this video. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you on the next one, and remember, stay above the waters.